Polk County School Board made a decision tonight that eliminates the tradition that's been in place for more than two decades now. As News Channel 8's Lenny Supal reports, board members voted to stop proclamations that recognize cultural groups and issues. Tonight's school board meeting was packed, and for two hours we heard passionate comments from the community, very split on the issue, but a majority of the school board ultimately saying that proclamations aren't needed, some even calling them divisive. The Polk County School Board meeting, the center of attention once again, doing away with proclamations and the months that recognize a wide variety of cultural groups and issues throughout the year. Proclamations do not encourage accepting people as individuals, but support grouping people by labeling and judging them. Nearly 100 people lining up for public comment, but it was right before the school board's decision when the conversation really got heated. How often do we miss the mark? With Black History Month, with Hispanic Heritage Month, with Disabilities Month, with Autism Month, Awareness Month, we miss the mark repeatedly. These proclamations, when we make them, they're decisive. The school board's decision reflects a similar move by county commissioners in June when a majority of that board rejected a proclamation to recognize Pride Month and the LGBTQ community. We're not going to make a fraudulent um, forum uh, that things are divisive. There's one major issue, the elephant in the room. People are very upset about the Pride Proclamation. Some say the school board skirted around the issue by eliminating proclamations altogether. I think that's a bar big part of our lives. Um, something that the children look forward to and all of us because really what's happening is we're learning about each other's cultures. But others believe it's a chance to honor all students equally. I think it takes a lot of time to do proclamations and when doing the proclamations you can't have a proclamation for everybody. Tonight we also heard from the school board talking about recognition and how they should go about that. They say that policies and procedures need to be fine-tuned moving forward. In Polk County, Lenny Sue Paul, 8 on your side.